Yo, what's good boys, Monster here, and we are back with a brand new video. Now, in today's video, we are going to be talking about 24 hours of Atlas. How is it? Is it bad? Is it terrible? Is it really good? Did it flop? Trust me, there's been a lot of issues, and we're going to talk about every single one of them in this video, and give my exact reason to why I do not think Atlas will be a complete flop. So yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. I'm saying that I don't feel that Atlas after 24 hours is terrible. To be honest, I've literally had less than 5 hours of gameplay in the last 24 hours, and keep in mind, I actually have 19 hours on this game in Steam. So 19 out of the last 24 hours of Atlas have been played, but I literally have not been able to actually play the game for more than 5. That's because of how many server issues Atlas actually has and is still having throughout the entire launch. Originally when they launched Atlas, they had very few servers and they were capped out at 150 players. Eventually, Eventually, after many updates later, they increased the server capacities by 400%. Now you would think that the player count from 150 would go to 500 or something like that, but no, it didn't actually do that. What they did is they added more servers online so that people can spawn in. Unfortunately though, if you don't spawn in a free port zone, then you have harder times meeting up with your tribe mates, leveling up, and doing any of the things that are required in those spawn zones. So you are automatically spawning with a disadvantage if you spawn in a different one, but if you do spawn in a free port you get about 2 FPS, constant rubber banding, and you literally can't move for about 10 minutes. Luckily enough for me though, when I first got into the game, eventually after literally waiting over 6 hours to finally get into the server, and also 5 updates later, literally my update right now is at 5.0. That means that they've updated this game over 5 times because yesterday we were on 1.0. When I finally got into the server, it took me about 10 minutes to meet up with my tribe mate, then I got invited. Now once I did get invited though, I could spawn a few servers away where it's way less laggy nobody else can actually spawn there so you literally have to run there or be in a tribe that has a bed down there and territory claimed already really once you get in your tribe and then you guys are set up far away from the spawn zones then you're pretty much good to actually start playing because the ping is not crazy and honestly the lag is not terrible it's just the free port zones the free port zones are so laggy because of how many people are all in one small area and that's where wildcard went really wrong something so easy to predict and they just completely missed it and they failed terribly i mean literally when you guys get into atlas try to spawn in you get two fps it's crazy now let's talk about some of the other big issues that i've been running into terrible fps now look i know i don't have the best pc and everything like that but i do have a decent pc when i play arc on windows 10 i get a solid 90 fps at pretty much all times when i run arc on steam i can get around 45 fps it's very weird when Windows 10 seems to be way more optimized, but then when I play Atlas, I get literally 22 FPS and low settings don't change anything, high settings don't change anything, I have no clue what the magical thing is to make this work on my computer but it just doesn't work i know some people are gonna say oh it runs amazing some people are gonna say oh it runs terrible that's how every game is every game either runs good for people or bad for people but it runs terrible for me i don't know about you guys but i've been seeing a lot of other people that are saying that it runs bad and stuff like that so that you can take that for yourself try it on your own system maybe it'll work for you but 22 fps sucks and that's not standard for video games the standard is 30 fps moving all the way up to 60 fps currently and okay you can blame that on my pc even though really my pc is not that bad at all you can see my specs down below in the description but there is an issue that you can't blame on me and that's literally me getting my character erased so last night i went to sleep around 6 a.m after doing a long live stream of playing atlas and i had a lot of fun for the few hours that i actually got to play into the game and then i woke up today saying that an update's coming out where the servers are going to be offline from 2 30 p.m for about four hours but then they changed it to where you can actually connect to the servers, just you might receive some more errors than usual. I don't know, it was weird. So basically what I did is I joined the server to actually start playing. Once I died in the game, I literally died and it took me back to a character creation menu. Now this is a standard menu that you see when you literally first get into the game. But the weird thing is that I was still seeing people die in my tribe like it was Ark. It literally has the same thing from Ark where if somebody dies or kills somebody, you'll see it at the top of your screen saying this player was killed by this thing. And that's what was still happening. So I was still in the tribe and I was still on my character. The thing is, is I just couldn't spawn my character in. So I relogged nothing happened i left the server i rejoined the server nothing happened i refreshed the game nothing happened so 
there's literally no way for me to get my character back and eventually I was forced to create a new character and spawn in on a different server. Now unfortunately since I'm not in that tribe anymore I can't actually spawn in on my new home server because I'm not in that tribe anymore. So now I have to spawn back into a free port server which is literally full 24 7 just to get invited back to my tribe. So how has the first 24 hours of Atlas been? Pretty terrible but I hope that it gets better and I expect it to get better. This video is not all about hating on Atlas. It's honestly about being open and honest about this game because there are many cool things about this game. I mean the skill tree, the XP system, and everything else like that, it's very dope. They took literally everything from Ark, okay? I know. Let's get past that now. Everything is from Ark. This is a literal Ark 2.0 or Ark DLC. If you guys go watch my video from yesterday, you guys will see that this was literally meant to be a DLC. DLC, and that's why it was in that menu. So think of this is just a standalone ARC DLC. That's all that this is with major, major changes. Most likely Wildcard and Grapeshot will try to take things from ARC and this game and combine them together in both games. They also will most likely try to do different releases for DLCs. So when Ark has off time in between the DLC times, then Atlas will release a DLC. And then between Atlas DLCs, I imagine Ark will release DLCs. I feel like that adds freshness because I feel like now they have two games where they can flip flop between the two, release DLCs, and always have fun and always have an active game going where they're not just going to get so bored and the players are going to get burnt out. That's if they do that. I'm not even sure if they do that. That's just my theory. I I've seen a lot of other gaming studios do that. If you look at high res studios, they have Smite, Paladins, and a lot of other games. I really only play those two, but they do kind of flip flop between the two. They take assets from one game, bring it to another, and they all just update at the same time. So it always adds a bunch of freshness. If you get bored of one game, you can go to the other game. And that's what I feel like. Hopefully they really push with this, but really guys, what can I tell you about this game? Nothing. I've got five hours of gameplay out of the total of 20 hours I've played. I hope to stream later today. The servers are fix and I'm actually able to play again but I honestly have no clue I've been trying to stream since it first came out but what am I gonna do stream a black screen I mean that's not entertaining anyway dudes I literally don't know this game I feel like has so much potential and I feel like it can be really good and I've been enjoying it the playtime that I've actually gotten into it I'm just not enjoying all the glitches and server issues and connectivity issues and everything that comes with it but hopefully it will be solved within the next couple of days when literally hundreds of thousands of people are not trying to join the servers anymore Anyway, I wish you guys luck and hopefully you guys don't get your character wiped like myself But if you guys do then I guess it sucks and we'll be in the same pirate ship then Anyway, dudes, I hope that you guys have a great day if, if you guys did enjoy this video Make sure you guys smash the like button on it and also tell me your guys opinions in the comment section down below What do you guys think about Atlas so far? Have you guys even gone into a server? Are you playing solo? Or are you playing with multiple people because I'm in a really big tribe and the really big tribe experience is a lot of FPS lag but you build up quickly and you can expand very rapidly. So I've been enjoying this as much as I've been able to play it, but some of which you guys have been enjoying down in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys are new around here, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Anyway, dudes, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.